Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Adani Defense is slowly and steadily making its mark into defense manufacturing. The company has announced an investment of more than rupees 1500 crore to build South Asia's largest integrated ammunition complex in Kanpur which is in Uttar Pradesh Defense Industrial Corridor. The complex will manufacture full range of ammunition which includes 200 million rounds of small caliber ammunition 100 million rounds of medium caliber ammunition and 1 lakh round of 155 mm large caliber ammunition catering to indian and global market demands the adani defense is the first private sector company to have set up an end to end development and manufacturing ecosystem of small arms including assault rifles light machine gun sniper rifles carbines and pistols it is the only indian private sector company supplying small arms to security forces on 23rd october 2023 adani defense has inaugurated its missile manufacturing facility at hyderabad the facility will be manufacturing the ulpgm and lrgb the new facility will be used for series production This is a big step towards boosting India's capability in building air-launched munition and bombs which was earlier dominated by the defense PSU with the involvement of more private players in defense manufacturing India is ramping up its capability to sustain the prolonged war The firm is also working with DRDO in productionizing missiles and precision attack systems The firm is working on long-range guided bombs, anti-radiation missiles, and highly lethal sea-skimming anti-ship missiles. Adani Defense is also working with DRDO on UAV-launched precision guided missile system. From concept to series production was completed in record 19 months. Indian Army has placed a limited series production order on Adani Defense for delivery of these systems. These missiles which are called as UAV launch precision guided munition or ULPGM is going to be game changer for Indian army due to their small size and ability to be launched even from a quadcopter. The missile will also be jam proof. So now let's try to understand in more detail about the ULPGM. The interesting part of ULPGM is that it is derived from Helena anti tank guided missile. It is a third generation fire and forget anti tank guided missile system. It is capable of defeating soft skin targets, vehicles, bunkers, tanks, windows and fast moving targets. It has length of 890 mm and a mass of 8.5 kg which makes it suitable for launching from UAVs. The missile has a range of 4 km and can be operated in temperature ranging from minus 20 to 65 degrees Celsius. It carries a warhead of 2 kg. The warhead type can be of 3 which includes PF or anti-personnel, PCB which can penetrate 6 inch concrete and anti-armor. This missile is a fire and forget missile which makes use of passive homing day and night imaging infrared seeker. It has accuracy of 10 cm. The missile can be released from UAV at an altitude of 750 m to 2 km. The missile is propelled by a solid rocket smokeless motor. The missile is integrated with an S-band two-way data link. Now talking about DRDO's LRGB or long range bombs, it is an inertial guided bomb which is an upgrade from existing laser guided weapons having limitations such as of range of delivery from the target and susceptibility to environmental condition. The initial guidance system is an electronic system that continuously monitors the position, velocity and acceleration of a vehicle, usually a submarine, missile or aircraft and provides navigational data or control without the need of communicating with a base station. So when it is installed on a bomb, the system can help to navigate the bomb to the designated target by continuously providing updated navigational inputs. Such systems have unique ability to perform without depending on external input such as ground based navigation aids as well as GPS. It does not have engine of its own but runs on the 
inertia imparted by the mother aircraft during the launch now there are at present two variants of trdo's glide bomb which includes gorab and gotham gorab is a winged version of glide bomb having range up to 100 kilometers and weighs up to 1000 kg there are three version again for this bomb depending upon the warhead it carries which includes prefragmented warhead penetration cum blast warhead and tandem prefragmented warhead talking about gotham it is a non winged version having a range of 30 km and in future its range will be enhanced to 100 km it weighs 550 kg there are two versions of this bomb again gotham prefragmented warhead and gotham penetration cum blast warhead talking about the accuracy these lrgvs have circular error probability of less than 15 meters for navigation these bombs use inertial navigation system with gps or navic satellite guidance this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector